got my brand new gear and I'm gonna be honest I opened this package about two days ago I've already used the equipment two times and we'd like to fake an unboxing for you but I didn't I re-ran out of tape so we're not gonna fake it I already used it two times uh, the ice time you're gonna see after this was ice time that I just had Warrior G4 uh, equipment it's just a stock demo set for right now it's all white uh, for those of you wondering why I have all white equipment it's just a demo set for the time being Warrior was nice enough to hook me up in the time being while I wait for my custom set and my custom stuff should be here in uh, two to three weeks. I just want to say thanks to Warrior first off, and then Kirk Allen, the um, uh, I believe retail rep for Warrior. He's been great to me. He's been very uh, accommodating, trying to help me out the best he can from our demo day back in May at the, uh, the MTS Ice Plex to uh, trying to rush a custom order and then get me the demo stuff for the time being, just uh, get me out of my old stuff and get me into a better pad. So we're gonna start off the main attraction here. So we got the pads, uh, again, like I said, stock. Warrior Retro G4 stuff. This is, I could be wrong, I believe these are actually the exact same pads that I wore at the demo day. Um, so if you see here, I don't know if the camera can zoom in or not, but it's uh, 36 plus one uh, sizing. Everything's absolutely stock, all white, black leg channel. Uh, I've been finding so far that this leg, tra um, the leg channel strapping system, the whole trend nowadays is all uh, Velcro and whatnot. That's the way of the pads, this is the way of the future, and it's gonna be that way for a while. Uh, these are by far probably the best uh, Velcro strapping system I've tried to date. Um, I like a really tight leg channel typically and as you can see here when I open it up it's super loose. Uh, maybe not loose but definitely not tight the way that I, I like it in say my last checkerboard set or my 1S stuff or my P4s or, or whatever. I was really skeptical these actually um, so they're calling these their ARS toe strapping system so basically you have your skate and uh, you just tuck this through the front loop and then you tuck it in here and it may seem slightly I don't want to say clunky, but like it doesn't work. But I don't think I've been getting better, uh, better feel uh, for a while. Uh, the only problem I've found so far is that it kind of gives a little bit of stress on, on my ankles, like, like when I'm transitioning to my RVH. Butterfly slides and whatnot, butterflies standing up, no problem at all. But when my like when my pad comes into the post, to say the post is here and I come in, that's the only time I'm having a little bit of stress. But aside from that, all good. I think the persona that people have with Warrior, uh, that it's not very good equipment, it's not built very well. Uh, you know, my goalie coach has been giving me the, the sales pitch for two years now about switching and uh, finally came to my senses and I'm, I think these pads are probably the best ones that I've ever used. Uh, like they slide like a dream. I've only used them two times. Um, they see my 5 which will be a topic on the comment section for sure. Stock gloves. Uh, this is actually an RGT blocker. This isn't a G4. Um, there was no full right um, G4 blockers available for demos right now. It's just stock. Um, I've been playing around with the wrist strapping a bit. I found uh, with my chest protector, it's been catching a lot, like right in this area. Um, I'm starting to get used to it, but it's still a little bit of uh, a little bit of annoyance trying to, like I say, if I make a blocker save and it's just in the way. Um, palms are great. Um, palm feels a little bit tight. Feels kind of similar to a, like a P4 or a Reebok or a CCM sugar material. I'm not a one piece kind of guy, and as you can see, it's a one piece thumb and cuff. Uh, the only reason I was using a one piece with the 1S equipment was it was demo. They're both demo sets and. Bauer doesn't do a two-piece cuff anymore, so there was no option other than a one-piece. Because um, my Brian's, they had a two-piece. My the last CCM glove I had was two-piece. Like all my gloves in the past years have been two-piece, um, and this is no exception. Like I said, I'm not a fan of the two-piece. I feel with a, with a, or sorry, I'm not a fan of the one-piece. I find I'm blocking a lot more as opposed to catching. Like a lot of the weight I feel is in the the cuff as opposed to in the palm when it's a two-piece. Um, I've been warming up to this a lot more than I thought I would. Still. Uh, still a ways away from, I guess, loving the one piece, shall we say. Uh, but that's really my only complaint. Uh, the closure is awesome. Like this thing, I'll show you. Even though I've already used it today, this thing closes really nicely, really fast, really snappy. Uh, again, like all the other equipment, there's almost no binding whatsoever. Aside from the back nylons and the T. Um, so really clean design on the face. Typically you have binding here, but really clean. And I'm finding pucks are, are catching a lot easier um, with this glove. Uh, overall, I don't really don't have too many complaints so far. I mean, like I said, I've only used it two times, so I mean, if I do have complaints about durability, there might be a bigger problem, but uh, no durability issues whatsoever. Again, I can't say thank you enough to Kirk Allen for being so supportive and um, helping me out, taking care of me. Uh, as a guy who's gonna be switching to Warrior for this upcoming season, I can't wait to get my custom set of G4s when they uh, come to Nanaimo. Uh, this is gonna be it for the unboxing part of the video. Next part, you're gonna see is an ice time. Um, so I've been skating with the guys at Evolution Hockey for the last couple weeks, and my summer training is coming to an end. Um, but this is going to be one of the final ice times that I do for the summer, at least here in Winnipeg. So uh, without further ado, I hope you enjoy the film you're about to see.
like it. This thing's probably a little taller than what I'm normally used to. in here. Cradle that. I'm gonna play these things shallow. Let's we'll head back. I suppose my five hole now. These ARS tow laces, I feel like. They changed my uh, my mechanics however I'm RVH transition, so I like it though. sidelineswap.com. I don't know why you'd listen to me after the last year of ads, but I feel like this one extra ad will put you over the top. Go to the website, buy something, spend a whole lot of money, and uh, I'm hoping to see you next week. I'm telling you that, so I hope you come back and watch next week. It probably won't be a video next week. Anyway, I will see you next week.